Hey everybody and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you one of my favorite ways to eat rigatoni with my roasted tomato cream sauce. Let's get started. All right, the first thing we're going to do is make our roasted tomato cream sauce. So we're gonna start out with about eight Roma tomatoes and we're gonna quarter them, just like this. And we're gonna throw them into our bowl. Then we're going to slice one onion. And we're gonna throw that all into our bowl. And we're gonna add six garlic cloves. Now, a little tip on garlic cloves. If you wanna peel them really quickly, when you take it off of the head, throw the clove into your microwave for about 10 seconds, then it will be a lot easier to peel off all of the little paper wrapping on your garlic. So we'll throw this in. We're gonna toss in a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper. We're gonna give this a quick stir. Then we're gonna throw it onto our sheet pan and we're gonna put it in the oven under broil so we can get a nice char on all of our vegetables. Okay, I just took my roasted tomatoes and onions and garlic out of the oven. They were in there for about 10 minutes. We wanna get this nice char all across them. Now we're going to put it into our pot with all of the juices as well. Okay, to this, it's on a medium high heat. We are going to add a half a cup of red wine and we're going to cook it for about 10 minutes and let the wine reduce to about half. All right, now that we've let our wine reduce to about half to cook off some of that alcohol, we're going to add two cups of tomato juice. We're going to add about uh, a two tablespoons of tomato paste, some chopped basil, and some oregano. We'll give this a quick stir, then we're going to let this simmer for about one hour. All right, now our sauce has been simming for an hour and it's thickened up really nicely. Now we're going to pour it into our blender and puree it up to get it really smooth. Okay, we've poured our pureed sauce back into a pot, and now what we're going to do is turn on the heat to low. I'm going to add one cup of heavy cream. We're gonna give it a good stir, and then we're gonna taste it to see if we need to add salt and pepper. Okay, we've finished our roasted tomato cream sauce. At this point, you can use it for pasta, you can put it over chicken, you can put it over anything that you want a delicious tomato sauce with. But now I'm gonna show you how to make a rigatoni dish that has chicken and sausage and tomatoes. So let's get started. What we have here is a nice big pan that I'm sticking over medium heat. And now I'm going to add some already cooked rigatoni. I boiled this for about 10 minutes in salted water. Then I drained it. Then I added some olive oil on top to help the noodles from sticking while I prepped out everything else. So we'll go ahead and put in our rigatoni. Then we're going to add our sauce to the pan. We'll just throw in the whole pan of sauce. And I'm going to give that a quick stir just to make sure it evenly gets distributed. I have taken one chicken breast and I grilled it outside and then I came in and I sliced it into thin slices. I also took three of these Johnsonville sausages. I grilled them and I'm slicing them on a diagonal. Now we'll go ahead and add all of that meat to our pasta and give it a good stir. All right, I have taken eight ounces of mushrooms. I've sliced them up and I sauteed them in 
a pan with butter and oil until they were soft, and I added a little bit of salt and pepper. We'll go ahead and add this to our pasta. I've taken sun-dried tomatoes and I've sliced them really thin or I've julienned them and now I'm going to add them. I have also sliced up some green onions. We're going to throw in half of them and save the other for the top. Okay, I'm going to throw in some shredded mozzarella and I'm going to grate some fresh Parmesan cheese to go on top as well. Once you've got that all incorporated, serve it up to your family with a nice big green salad, some French bread with garlic butter, and make it a nice family meal. If you liked this episode, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified when we make something delicious. Thanks for hanging out with us. Have a great day.